purpose. Without it, life isn't life. Sight isn't sight. A fight wouldn't be a fight. We'd be living in darkness, absence of light. Would it climb a height or swim a depth? Move right or left? Movement wouldn't exist because of our purposeless mindset. Motionless and emotionless. Oh, the dangers of complacency. It's the tendency to get caught up in the dangerous sea, empty and floating in nothingness. Excitement that quickly fades, working endless days, expecting satisfaction to come when you get paid. Trying anything to fill your nothing. But until there's a realization that we need purpose, we're made with a purpose, and are being called to our purpose, our nothing remains nothing. Unless we let the Creator reveal our purpose to create something, which is everything. Instead of seeking and looking on our own, why don't we ask the man on the throne? Because when he reveals our purpose, I guarantee we will be filled with satisfaction, a radical reaction, because Jesus didn't come to give us what we perceive as life, but he claims that he will give us life to the full. And there is nothing more that I desire, because seeking him, my purpose is a fire that burns inside, and burning inside, it won't reside, no. Now fire is too powerful, too strong to contain, burns to sustain, causing me to proclaim the holy and perfect name, Jesus. I will obey the calling, glorious king, I will refrain from stalling, I will go, I will obey, make the way. I am ready to live that abundant life. I am ready to obey my calling so that when I succeed, I won't feel empty like all the other earthly desires, but I will hear the most satisfying, rewarding words that anyone will ever desire to hear. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Hey, I'm Davin Terrence, and I've been attending CFA for 16 years now, and I am on a mission to change the world by obeying God's great commission and using the gifts He has given me. Early in February 2013, I will be taking a huge step forward in the plans God has for my life. Australia bound, I will be doing a video and photography discipleship training school through Youth with a Mission. The first three months, I will be mentored and taught how to use my giftings, film and photography, for God's kingdom. In the next three months, I will be putting these teachings to practice when I go on a three-month outreach where these giftings will be used firsthand. I will also be following the DTS up with a School of Digital Filmmaking course that the Youth with a Mission Base offers. This is an advanced learning course for the video aspect. This is a very exciting yet scary step, but relying on God every day, I have my full trust in Him and I know He will take care of me. I want you, the church, my family, to support me. By support, I mean praying for me every day, encouraging me by sending me personal messages so that when times get tough, I will know and be reminded of my calling. Please come talk to me after the service. I would love to share a little bit more information to you about the mission. I have a blog set up that you guys can be a part of. And you can follow all the different prayer requests and the praise reports that are happening on my mission. My dreams, my calling, my passion, they all intertwine, leading onward a walking path, a divine straight line. All of the spoken come from above, right from the Creator, our example of flawless love. You see, my dreams and desires just pour out and perspire. Never will they die, never will I retire. In this next segment of my journey, I will rise up and see all the glories, fruits, and opportunities Christ set out for me. We are given the opportunity of a lifetime to personally serve the King. Day to day, I will wake up to do that very thing. As I draw near to Christ, He draws near to me. His purpose for my life is blatant and easy to see. Nothing can stop me, I'm invincible. I have the promise of eternal life. No pain or sorrow, sadness or strife can be a ruthless night. Surely there will be a fight, but if God is for me, who can be against me? Understanding I'm not looking for fame, rather I just want to proclaim the name that heals the sick, the blind, the lame, yet all that remains 
is the mission. Go and make disciples in all nations. Especially in this day and age with airports and train stations. You see, nothing is holding me back. It is through Christ that I am free, longing for the next step, obeying the call. Here I am, Lord, send me.